Hi. Today I'm going to be making a dog door. And the first thing you do when you make a dog door is you got to measure your dogs. This one is 12 by 5 by 16. We don't need the length because the dog just travels right through the door. 10 by 5 by 12. The door that I'm putting the dog door into has some shape to it that I need to trace out. So I'm gonna put together a little tracing tool by just drilling a hole in this little piece of scrap here and cutting the other end of it to a point and then hammering a pencil into the hole. Erasers are not necessary in this application. I'll make a little template out of that tracing by just cutting it out of a piece of paper and fixing it to a piece of scrap quarter inch plywood here and then cutting that out on the bandsaw. And then I can cut out the actual pieces for the frame for the dog door. With all those miters cut, I'm going to make a really quick uh, miter spline jig for my table saw. I don't have one. Um, so this was just with some scrap pieces of plywood and dimensional lumber lying around. Clamped it to the sled here and then clamped the mitered frame pieces onto that. And then I can just quickly cut the spline joint out and it will line up perfectly. And I'll just cut a quick spline out of some hardwood scrap. This is the old door that I'm going to put the dog door into. It's pretty beat up for a few reasons. The finish is kind of a mess and uh, it's a little irregular just from years of being an old door. There was a lot of work to do on the door. Uh, first I had to get the hardware off, which was not a big deal, but then there was a lot of paint that was painted on top of, I think, either a lacquer or polyurethane. And I tried scraping, I tried sanding, I tried planing. Um, eventually I tried the heat gun. Um, I got off as much as I could. Really, I needed to focus at the bottom of the door, which is where the dog door is going, and I just needed some clean wood that I could glue the frame of the dog door onto.
I took the clamps off and I went ahead and put these screws in but didn't film it. The reason I want this to be so secure is because I've cut the bottom rail of the door right in half and removed the middle piece. So there's a lot less structure there. So I need this to be a kind of frame holding it all in place, which means that the connection between the frame and the door has to be really solid. And the frame has to be able to take some um, moment at the corners which should be okay because this panel is acting like a giant spline between the smaller pieces of the frame. This little plywood flap is just a placeholder until I can get a piece of clear plastic that's gonna take its place. Getting the door finally into place, and now it is time to test. Out there, oh, it's your nose. <laughs> Good boy, bunny. Major. <laughs> Major. I guess I have to do some training. But, there's the dog door. Now it's up to the dogs to figure out how to use it. I've done my part. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Good boy, Judgey. <laughs>